Hi there, Pisces. How are you? How is the family? I hope you guys are all doing well. We are going to get into a general message. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Cross watchers, you are welcome to be here as long as you have good intentions. And guys, keep in mind you might have to vice versa the roles. Let's get started with the Sacred Destiny Oracles for Pisces. Please and thank you. First card out. Pleasure. Um, someone really enjoys what they're doing or somebody might be on a personal day. Um, not for any real good reason, just to have a day. You know, just do something nice for yourself. Have fun. Do something that you enjoy. Not necessarily because you have to, just because you like to. Right? All right, what else just came out? We got a bunch, so we're actually going to do this like that. So I have fulfillment oops, miracles and voyage. Yeah, again, you're just going to do something or going somewhere that you really enjoy. Look, and then we have success. It's not like you necessarily need to, but you know, I really want to, you know, that's I mean, nothing wrong with that. Let's see, Pisces, energy oracles. What is the energy surrounding... You know, I also feel like something really good is going to happen. Something unexpected, though, because it's a miracle. And whereas you're just trying to get out for a little bit, just kind of clear the air or, you know, not be staring at the same four walls. Um, I think there's something really positive but surprising that's going to happen while you're out and about. Let's see, what's the energy surrounding Pisces? Please and thank you, spirit. Yeah, woman holding a heart. Something you really love, enjoy doing. Sorry, I'm OCD. This is going to bug the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> Something you really enjoy doing. Master number 44 here. <clears throat> this is a foundation. This could be a specific location. Yep, and then 49, which is a four. Four, four, four. Something you fucking enjoy doing. You love doing it. I don't know how else to say this. You know, maybe you're just going to go grab your favorite dinner tonight instead of cooking. Maybe you've already pulled the meat out to thaw it out and you're like, you know what? It's still kind of cold. I'm just going to put it in the fridge. I don't even really feel like cooking tonight or I just really want this. I know I pulled this out to make it, but oh, dang it. I want Chinese, you know, <laughs> or tacos or whatever it is, nachos. Maybe it's a salad that really, oh, you really want that instead. I I don't know who says that, but the garden and the gate. Yeah, you want to get out. You need to get out. You need to go out. Something so miraculous is going to happen. It's unexpected. It's unplanned. It's nothing that you could have, like, yeah, look at that. Take action. Don't just stand there and think about going outside. Go. Action. Voyage. Move your ass, right? <laughs> spirits like what are you waiting for somebody just said my shift to end you are not watching this while you're at work are you for real don't let me get you in trouble okay hold on <laughs> i feel like you're subjecting me to something i didn't sign up for <laughs> oh my goodness as long as you're not gonna get in trouble i guess anyways let's see what else do we have please for pisces thank you we have Door to Value and Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, you've, you've got angels here holding this door open, but only for so long. Communicating your order. I'm telling you, some of you guys are picking up food. Door to Value. Maybe this is just accepting an invitation somewhere like a garden party or whatever, and you're like, I don't know. Maybe I'll go check it out. Like, you don't understand how hype this is until you just kind of get out of the house, until you go and do whatever this is that you so, so badly want to do or 
go to the place that you so enjoy. For some of you, it's by the beach. For some of you, it's a nature walk. Could even be a friend. Like I said, this could be an invitation. You meet somebody on your way. I'm getting the gas station for some of you. Um, but I'm also getting like restaurant energy too. There could be something on the road. You meet somebody. Like, it doesn't feel bad, though. It's not like, you know, you get pulled over and then you and the cop hit it off. <laughs> it's not like that, right? Nobody's getting pulled over. No ticket today. Uh, do make sure that you're driving properly, though. All right? Action does bring a little bit of attention to how somebody is driving. We have man holding a heart. Look, and there's woman holding a heart. I'm telling you, you're going to meet somebody. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. One, two, three angels making sure the man and the queen, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the man and the woman holding a heart meet each other. Angel of love. I feel like Cupid's about to shoot somebody right in the butt cheek. <sighs> High priestess energy. This person is also intuitive. Uh, somebody here could be a tarot reader. This one could be for the readers. You're going to intuitively feel pulled to this person. Both of you are emotionally available. You're open-hearted. And you're both very much on the frequency of love. Look at this. Appreciation and journey. You're going to appreciate going on this journey or, you know... Going on this trip, getting out of the house. You're going to be very grateful that you did this. <clears throat> and it's not something that like, oh, well, so-and-so has a sale, so let's go up there. You know to expect the sale, right? That's not what this is. This is something that you're not expecting. You, ha you had no idea. You had no idea. All right, let's see. Let's throw some tarot on this. The Emperor, Divine Masculine, in the house. This person could own a company or be building one. This is somebody that's got some kind of a kingdom that they're running here. They take things very seriously when it comes to work and finances. Um, but they know how to kick back and have a good time. That is for fucking sure. I love this. This person has a very well-rounded energy. They can be serious when it's time to be serious. They make the moves when it's time to make the moves, make the cuts, go over the paperwork, whatever, um, making appointments and all that. <clears throat> but then they can also put their feet up and turn work off when it's time to kick back and relax at the end of the night. This person is a cuddler, believe it or not. They might seem very, um, like I said, work-oriented, like focused on their job, but they they like to cuddle, all right? We like to cuddle. We like, we like to cuddle. <laughs> the star card and the six of cups. Like, this is what you've been hoping for ever since you were a child. Or, you know what? I think that goes both ways. I think both of you have been hoping for each other ever since you were a child. Or, both of you have had premonitions of this happening together. I do feel like there could be a child. Either you have one already or you will have a child together, perhaps. If not, though, this is something brand spanking new. Okay? It's brand new. It's very young. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Empress. Some of you could get pregnant with this person really quick, too, though. All right? So be careful with that. And then let's see. Final card for Pisces. There's a lot of growth here, you guys. They're going to hold you and love you, nurture you, take care of you, and you're going to do the same for them. The world card. Wow, isn't that something? How you just got the world card because at the bottom of this deck that we just pulled from, is also the world card. It's almost like, and not to be cheesy, but you guys kind of complete each other. Like, you just fit perfectly in each other's worlds. This is where two worlds collide, come together. You guys are going to mean the world to each other. This relationship is going to mean the world to both of you. 
right? Yeah, and this person, they're going to come in so fast. Storm warning tower card. I can't make this shit up. They're going to come in so fast, you're not expecting it. Some of you are on the road. Some of you, this is a police officer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some of you are speeding. You get pulled over for speeding. You're maybe going 10 over. 10, 11 over. And they're like, you know why I pulled you over? And you're like, yeah. But it's like they can't even be mad because it's like, damn, can I pull you over again? <laughs> What's that song? Uh, Mrs. Officer, Mrs. Officer. <laughs> Look at that four of coins. They're like, maybe I won't write you this ticket. But... Can I give you my phone number? <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Like a cop car. <laughs> I see you crack me up. All right, so we've got the world card. It's the fixed signs. And we have them each out here twice. So Taurus, Taurus. Leo, Leo. Scorpio, Scorpio. Aquarius, Aquarius. We have Libra Taurus, Divine Feminine, also Venus, Aquarius, Divine Masculine, Aries Taurus. How did I not put that together? Also Mars, Emperor and Empress. This is a very, very important relationship. Spiritual, loving connection here. Um, we have Cancer. We have Pisces. There you are. We have the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And we have Gemini. If you guys want to go ahead and get your questions together, I'm going to go ahead and answer questions now. Oh, you know what? We have Aquarius and Gemini one more time because I did also speak about these cards. All right, so those count too. Anyways, come up with your questions. I'm going to shuffle a couple times here. For Pisces, please and thank you. For Pisces, please and thank you. Yeah, romance. Oh, all right. If you guys need more time, go ahead and pause. Let's get into it. For somebody that just asked, we have communicate clearly. All right. For whoever just asked, we have in the near future. For whoever just asked, improving health. For whoever just asked, we have don't stop. For whoever just asked, we have not the right time. But remain positive. For whoever just asked, we have no. All right. For whoever just asked, we have wait. And for whoever just asked, we have reconsider. It's up to you. For whoever just asked, we have be assertive. And at the bottom of the deck, we have big, happy changes. Wheel of Fortune. Woohoo! In your favor. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps somebody, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.